Hello, this is a video on how to crop a point cloud using the clipping box and generate and export a limited size 3D mesh. As an example, we have a photogrammetric scan of a building. We already completed our 3D structure, referencing and dense point cloud steps. It was done by selecting only these three stages in the full workflow from the workflow menu. After clicking start batch, processing will take some time to complete depending on your hardware and the amount of photos. To crop a dense point cloud, you need to set a clipping box. Click on the Set Clipping Box tool in the toolbar and the clipping box will appear in the 3D view. You may need to zoom out a bit so we can see the entire clipping box. Quick tip, you can zoom in or out just by scrolling with your scroll wheel, but it is more convenient to do so by holding down your middle mouse button and moving your mouse up to zoom in and down to zoom out. The clipping box can be resized by clicking and dragging these colored circles. It can be moved by dragging its walls. You can rotate the clipping box by enabling rotation in the tools window on the right. Now grab one of the edges and rotate your clipping box. You also have an option to store the clipping box and load it later. Cropping our dense point cloud will give us a few benefits. First, our project looks nicer and more presentable without the peripheral areas. It is easier to navigate and work in the 3D view. And finally, it is more efficient to use the data only in our area of interest. The further results will be much higher quality without having to spend resources on the periphery while creating a 3D model. After you are done, click OK. Now we have a clipping box set on our dense point cloud, but the points outside the box are only hidden. To crop a dense point cloud, right click on it in the layers panel and select crop to clipping box. Click start and after a short process, the crop point cloud will appear in our 3D view and as a new layer, containing points inside the clipping box only. Now it is time to generate a 3D mesh with texture. In the workflow menu, click on Mesh. Choose your crop point cloud. If you are planning to continue working and measuring in the PixPro software, you can leave the default 2 million triangles limit or create an unlimited mesh. If you are planning to export your mesh for later use in other software, you may need to limit the size of the mesh. In this case, we will be exporting the mesh, so let's limit it to only 50,000 triangles. To generate texture, we leave the texture checkmark on. To access more detailed settings, click on the Properties button. Here we can select the size of the texture and number of atlases. Let's create a smaller, single atlas for key texture. Click Start and mesh generation process will begin. After the process is complete, it will appear in our 3D view and the layers panel. Now we can proceed with export. To export your mesh, right click on it in the layers panel and choose export mesh. Select export location, give your mesh a name, select the file type and click save. A more detailed export mesh window will open. Depending on the software you are planning to import your mesh, you can keep the original coordinate system or clear the referencing by choosing local coordinates. If you choose to keep the coordinates, you may need to apply a shift as well. Shift will reduce the amount of data while still keeping the scale and orientation of the mesh. Some software may have a compatibility issue if you do not apply any shift. In this case, we will keep our coordinate system and apply the 3D shift to center. If this combination of settings does not work for you, try other types of coordinate systems, shift options and file formats. Now you know how to use the clipping box for dense point cloud cropping, how to generate a limited size mesh and export it for use in other software. This is it for this video. Try Pixpro Photogrammetry software 14 days for free. 
For more Pix Pro news and photogrammetry related topics, check out our blog. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.